When this show opened, I was like, I wanted you to experience this work because for me, it's like one thing to experience art in a museum, but I can, I can engage with it much deeper because I experienced it in our home. My name is Michael J. Ewing, Associate Curator at the Frist Art Museum. I'm here with my father, Michael Ewing Sr., and we are viewing The Harvesters by John Biggers. One of my favorite parts about this particular piece is the monochromatic kind of colors that he used to give this deep sentiment of emotion. And just the way that he's able to tell such a rich story, storytelling in these like layered steel frame images. And that was one of the things that Biggers expounding on was the need for him to express a story with the hands and feet. That was one of his signatures for expressing toil and strength from our culture. Mm. And I think it's, it's fitting, right? Like this is the section around labor. Mm -hmm. And so what better way to emphasize labor in a way that really captures the parts of the body that labor engages with the most, the right. hands and the feet, right? He was a great storyteller and especially of African folklore. The way he depicted the cultural significance of us as a people was definitely an attribute yeah. to people seeing us for the essence that we possess that's mm -hmm. not always conveyed sometimes in art. Yeah, because even in this image, like everyone has this kind of somber mood. The elder woman to the left seated okay. has the heaviest emotional weight. The gentleman behind her is embracing her. Where in the background you see the figures, they feel more curious. And I love that is that even within his works, there's people that are like active participants in the story. Right. And then there's people that feel like onlookers like we are. I think that's the beauty of it. And I think that when you're able to come to a museum and you can see yourself in the work, it's right. like a conduit that kind of pulls you into it. I yeah. think that's part of his consciousness, how he separates himself mm. and then reinserts himself. You know, Pops, is interesting because uh, one time somebody asked me, you know, what made me want to be a curator? And I remember as a kid, I was like, the first thing I ever broke was like African art, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember. It was an Ashanti piece. It was an Ashanti piece. Yeah. And I broke the leg of it. Fortunately, I, it was just a commercial piece. Yeah, it wasn't but, like an artifact. Okay. Going in our house felt like going into like a museum. Yeah. Like, you know, it was well, like a record fact, player. You guys did like make mention to that sometimes. It feels like we live in a museum. And but actually, can, yeah. actually that was, that was my intention because I felt like the world had so much out there that was superficial. Mm. And I felt like to create an environment within your home, who says you can't create your own gallery or your own museum mm. within, your, within your living space? And so that's when I started collecting and started being very intentional about giving cultural significance to our living space. Yeah, but I still feel like I pulled from that reliquary of like growing up in, in a space that was so abundant with art. Because when I was a kid, I couldn't have company. You were very particular about who would come in our house. I was. I think being a curator is like the opposite of that, right? Like. I want to create space that I can invite everybody to, <laughs> right? Like, I want everybody okay. to, to experience this space. That's I think that you, you were able to shape that identity or that inquiry for me um, okay. with kind of having, having these kind of like cultural spaces being my living, my primary mm -hmm. living space, right? And I think right. that's why I'm excited, right? So this is just like a big home that people can come to and I want people to feel like, man, you can engage with this work, like this is for you. You always leave the museum with some sort of impression about art that you didn't have before. Mm. And I think that's the magic of the museum. Images or items with substance gives you something too. Yeah. It's, a, it's an exchange that you get. That's that mm -hmm. thing that grabs you that makes you not want to look it's away. It's kind of you the know? spirit essence yeah, exactly. of art. Because art has a material essence and it has a spiritual essence as yeah. well. Right. It's one thing to see things in a book yeah. 
on the internet, but when you actually see it in person, it has it's a scale. different yeah. presence. Uh, it does. And it gives you more insight about the artist yeah. as well, too. Yeah, I want you to experience I think I knew you. I knew you would enjoy this one. I do, yeah. I, very much so.